Hi everybody, just here to show you the latest journal that I have created. I joined a swap um, over on the Junk Journal Junkies Facebook group. The theme was Vintage Gypsy Love Journal. <coughs> and you had to use a 9 by 12 envelope as the base, so the cover of the journal. Uh, the front cover had to have a gypsy image on it. The internal pages had to be tea stained or coffee stained. You had to have at least 10 gypsy images throughout the journal. Five different patterned papers, tea stained or coffee stained. And you had to add in tuck spots, journaling cards, pockets and that type of thing. Uh, you also had to use the pamphlet stitch to stitch in your one signature which is what you see here up the spine of my journal. So this is what I created using those guidelines. So she turned out quite chunky. So for the closure I've used a button and just wrapped some seam binding around it to keep it all closed. Um, I just thought it would be a simpler way and to keep it all together so that's kind of the chunkiness that we're talking it was quite big so the front cover I have the gypsy image some flowers and I've popped trim down the side for the back I've just left it plain and put some of the same trim on the front down the side there as well <coughs> The side part for the spine, I've got some fibres hanging off the side and I just created a little bit of a dangle charm from an old bracelet. The inside, we have our gypsy images. And just a page for writing or sticking something else on. I had found some um, gypsy coins in my stash so I've used those throughout the journal as well and I've just hung them off fibres throughout the journal. So I have a blank page here, a journaling card and some stamping on this page. I've also done a bit of sewing, uh, just practicing with my sewing machine. I worked out I can sew paper like there's no tomorrow but give me a piece of fabric and I don't know what to do with it. Um, so yeah, more practice on the sewing machines needed. I've got Doily here, another gypsy. She's just stuck straight onto the page and I've got some sewing up the sides there as well. A pocket with some journaling tags. This one is a tarot card downloaded from Pinterest. You can also journal on the back. I've popped some tea stain paper on the back of that. And just a journaling card I've had sitting around. Uh, they're probably from Kayser Craft, I would say. Seems I have more of that product here than anything. Another page, the tuck spot here. And also on the other side of the page is a tuck spot with the gypsy image printed onto the page. Got a rub on here and that there is paint printed straight onto the page as well. I've made a pocket, put some flowers on to just embellish that and I have a velcro button holding that down and it's just full of little journaling cards little gypsy image there and you can journal on the back of that as well. This page here, you can journal on this page. I've got a tuck spot and a gypsy tag that you can journal on as well. And on the side here, I've just got some crocheted trim down the side. Some washi tape holding down this journaling card. Tarot palm. Your fate is in your hands, the tuck spot and some more journaling cards, just another image, some stamping on this page here, another gypsy image and some fibre stuck to the edge of the page, another full gypsy image, a doily, journaling tag with the gypsy on it, a paper clip up the top with some seam binding on it. 
created a pocket here, a corner pocket, and have some lace or some um, crocheted trim on here. Another journaling card on there. And then I've also made a booklet for this page as well. So I have the gypsy images as the cover and just used a pamphlet stitch to hold it all in. And it just has some off cuts of paper throughout the little booklet that can be written on. And again, the papers are all coffee or tea stained. Some more stamping, some more washi tape, a journaling card, tab, more journaling space, a tuck spot there, another tarot card with some coffee stained paper on the back and just a tag. Everything is better when shared with a friend and you can journal on the back of that as well. Another gypsy image printed straight onto the paper and I have a little tuck spot up the top here as well. This page here is a um, freebie I downloaded from Ephemera's Vintage Garden. And this one here we have some blue trim, gypsy, doily, another gypsy image, pocket here with some journaling tags in it or cards. Another gypsy image, tuck spot, just a banner and flowers. Small images. Paper clip with a banner and flower. And that's just a clip art image that's printed straight onto the paper. And the same here, the wording here on this one is printed straight onto the paper. So lots of journaling space in this journal. Some more of that pink crocheted trim. Dancing Gypsy, another image. Tuck spot with the gypsy tag. And another tuck spot here with the doily, some fibres, banner and flower embellishment there. Some more stamping on this page, doily, gypsy love song sheet and a tab. Some more gypsies, another gypsy coin and some fibre and some stamping. More gypsies, there's gypsies everywhere. A tag that I've made with just some seam binding hanging off of it so everything is stuck down to this page. And this is just a gypsy couple sitting along the stump of a tree the center of the signature another gypsy image tuck spot with some journaling cards and a tag the friends we meet on the path of life make the trip worthwhile um, the journaling tags are actually a, from a Heidi Swap collection I have sitting around butterflies with some icicles on there and some fibers Another tuck spot, flower and some fibres, another journaling tag, another gypsy music sheet, if I listen with my heart, another doily, that's a rub on and the um, more of the crocheted trim. Another gypsy with some crocheted trim, some stamping with the butterflies, a tuck spot and the gypsy tag for journaling. More journaling space, flowers and some fibres. Belly band with some trim down there. Another tarot card you can journal on the back. And here we have another tuck spot. And I have a paper clip attached with the fibre and some more of the gypsy coins. Gypsy image and I've had some plastic frame sheets that I've just stuck over the top. A pocket with some journaling tags. Another tarot card. So all my images were downloaded either from Pinterest or Google. Some stamping. little envelope here that's 
Got a gypsy image journaling tag and just some off cuts of the papers, the pattern papers that I used which can be used as journaling spots. And I've just popped a stamp on this one. Times like these are extra special. Another pocket with some journaling tags. Friends are the best collectibles. Another gypsy fortune teller card. Another gypsy pocket. Um, doily. A tab. Lots of space for journaling in this one. Another tuck spot. Banner. Some fibre and some flowers. Some washi tape. Another pocket with journaling tags. This one has some black crocheted trim down the side of the pocket. Another doily. Another one of the gypsy coins hanging down on the paper clip with some fibres. And the back page is a gypsy caravan. And then we have the back, we've got the pocket, so to the envelope. And I have just a heap of journaling cards left over that I've popped in here for now. <clears throat> this image is actually in the journal. There's another one. And just a heap of journaling cards that can be used for someone else in another journal. Some off cuts from the design papers I used. So there you have it. Vintage Gypsy Love Junk Journal. Pretty chunky. I'm happy with the way it turned out and I hope whoever gets it um, really likes it. Um, there's plenty of room still to do whatever anybody wants to do to it. Um, hopefully there's still plenty of room to, to add stuff without it breaking and bursting. So there you have it. The Gypsy Love Journal. Okay, so thanks for watching and bye for now. Bye.